Hello English learners, it's Shireen from An English Nerd and today we're going to talk about how to gain confidence when you're learning English. I've had a lot of learners approach me, a lot of my students tell me that they're really worried about their English, that they're either not making enough progress or they're just too scared to move forward with having a conversation in English. So with these tips that I'm going to give you, you will learn how to gain confidence and you'll also learn what you need to do to advance in English, what you need to do to take your English to the next level. So let's get started. If you're looking to advance in English so that you can sound more natural and more confident, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more lessons. The first thing I want you to do is be patient. Languages aren't learned overnight and they're not learned in one month or two months or three months either. So I know I've seen a lot of advertisements out there saying that you can learn a language, you can become fluent in a short period of time, but that's really just a marketing gimmick. You have to convince yourself to be patient. You have to convince yourself that there is no rush and that progress will come if you continue to practice. Another thing that leads people to becoming impatient when they're learning a language is they compare themselves to other people. And this is a really big mistake. Because first of all, we're all on different journeys. So you don't know how long a person has been studying and not only the length of time, but their circumstances. Believe me, if you are immersed in the language, for example, if you move to an English speaking country, you will advance much faster than if you're not in an English speaking country. So it's not fair to compare yourself to another person who has learned the language. It's really truly important that you stop comparing yourself and that you be patient. Adapting yourself to be patient will help you to feel more confident about where you are right now. You'll be able to think, okay, so this is where I am now and if I keep practicing every day, eventually I'm going to move forward. And being patient will help you advance in English because you won't be concentrating on how things aren't moving fast enough. The next thing that I want you to do is to stop worrying. You have to stop worrying. You need to stop worrying about your mistakes because mistakes are what help us learn. And let's face it, when you're learning a language, you are going to make mistakes. You can't avoid mistakes. So take those mistakes that you make and treat them as opportunities to learn more. The next thing that I don't want you to worry about is your accent. Your accent is not something that you need to focus on. Yes, pronunciation is important, but it is not important for you to sound like a native speaker. It is not important for you to get rid of your foreign accent. If that is one of your goals, it is something that you can work on. That can be your personal goal, certainly, but you don't need to worry about your accent when you communicate in English. English is a global language. There are people all over the world from different countries using English as a tool to communicate. Your accent will not hold you back from communicating. If you can learn to love your accent and see it as a part of your identity, and if you can also stop worrying about making mistakes, accept that you are going to make mistakes, this will really help with your confidence. The third thing that I want you to do is practice. You need to practice every day. First of all, you need to practice every day in order to make progress and to remember what you've learned. 
And second of all, the more you practice, the more confident you will be, the more familiar you will become with the language, therefore, the more confident you will feel. When I say practice, what I want you to do is I want you to just spend a little bit of time every single day interacting in English. So it could be that you are consuming some content in English. It could be a video or a podcast. You could be watching Netflix. You could read a story. You could also spend some time speaking in English. Actually, I shouldn't have said could. You should spend time speaking in English. And there are so many different options. You can speak out loud to yourself. You can speak in your head. You can speak to people online. If you're looking for a place to practice speaking English, you can join my Facebook group. I'll put the link down below. We have a monthly meetup and come join. You can make friends. You can practice speaking and listening in English. The fourth thing that I want you to do to improve your confidence is to immerse yourself in English as much as you can. I know not everyone has the opportunity to go to an English speaking country, which is obviously the easiest way to immerse yourself in the language. However, there are lots of things that you can do at home. You can start following people that speak English. You can follow native speakers. I know that not everyone has the opportunity to travel to an English speaking country, which is obviously the most ideal way and the easiest way to immerse yourself in the language. But there are lots of things that you can do at home to immerse yourself. Make English a part of your everyday life. Do things like switch the language of your digital devices to English. You can listen to English music. You can go on Instagram and you can find other English language learners who are looking for a partner to practice with. There are also lots of language apps that are designed specifically for this purpose, for people who are looking for opportunities to practice a language. I know, for example, there's a platform called HelloTalk where people who speak different languages meet each other to practice speaking in that language. There are opportunities for you to immerse yourself no matter where you are. And the more familiar you get with the language, and I'm not talking like learning about grammar or memorizing lists of vocabulary, the more you see this language as a part of your everyday, the more confident you will feel not only in speaking, but also in listening and understanding. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're doing to immerse yourself in English. It could be something that I've already said or maybe something that I haven't. Let me know. I'm really interested in hearing what you're doing. My last piece of advice for you is don't wait to start speaking. Don't wait. I know a lot of people who are learning English will say, okay, when I reach B2, I can finally start speaking in English. This is a terrible idea. You need to start speaking from the start. Again, like I mentioned before, if you're looking for an opportunity to start speaking, come join me on Facebook and start speaking at the monthly meetup. It's also super important that you don't get discouraged if you have a conversation in English and it doesn't go well. It's totally normal. Even in our native languages, we have conversations with people where we don't understand each other properly, or perhaps we have, we struggle to express our ideas and that's okay. Sometimes conversations aren't going to go perfectly as planned and it's not a big deal. Sometimes we encounter people that are just not that patient and I don't want that to discourage you. Because if you're trying to communicate with someone and that person is not willing to put in the effort to try to understand, that is really their problem, not yours. So walk away from that conversation and remind yourself that it's not your fault. It's 
their problem for being impatient. You should be ridiculously proud of yourself for learning a new language and for making the effort to speak in that language. It takes a lot of courage and I know that you have it. So if you follow these five tips, they will really help with your confidence and as a side effect, they will also help you advance in English because the more you practice, the more you know. If you want to join me on your English language learning journey, then follow me on social media. You'll find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and my handle is at an English nerd. I'll see you next time. Bye.